applying an auto effect in Photoshop. I have a sample image here. I will drag it on my Photoshop workspace for me to edit it. Press Ctrl 0 to fit on the screen. Now I will unlock this layer. I think no need to unlock. I'll just duplicate the layer and I will name rename this layer as Auto Tone, which is the effect that I will apply to the to the image press ok now there's another layer there so I will apply now the auto tone effect uh, hover over to the image and as you can see there's a effect there called auto tone you can press the shortcut shift control L but I'll just click here and make sure that the layer that you want to be edited is selected. So click the auto tone. As you can see, there is some a bit changes to the image. There's only a little bit changes to the image uh, because the image is somehow uh, already been edited or we cannot distinguish the difference. Uh, but in some different image, you can see the different. It depends on the quality of image that we're, we are editing. Now, I we have the auto tone there already. We will add a new layer or duplicate this original image and add a new layer. Uh, right click on the background and select duplicate layer. And I will rename it um, auto contrast then press ok now it's after the background let me turn off the auto tone for me to be to see the auto contrast layer so that's the auto contrast layer now I will which is selected now I will add the auto contrast effect the auto contrast effect this is the shortcut but you can just click by click. Let's see the difference between auto tone and auto contrast and the original. So there's a bit of change in the effect of photo. Okay, let me turn that off. And now let's duplicate again. And let's call it auto, auto color. And press OK and apply the effect auto color. So that's the auto color. There's a there's a huge difference between the three effects. As you click the auto contrast, some bit of changes. Turn I'm clicking this uh, icon to turn on and turn off the layer for me to see the the below layer and the workspace. Or be visible in the workspace. See, there's some auto color is somehow darker here. Auto contrast somehow more lighter here. And auto tone is some somehow bluish kind of effect. So so it depends on the image that you want to be edited. The effect will varies on the quality of image. And the highlights, the lightings of the image will be different. Okay, now you, you can save this image. If you want to save the auto tone, save as file, save as. Uh, and I'll go to my go to your directory and I'll rename it auto tone. And select the jpeg format save maximum with a file uh, file of uh, 1.2 megabyte okay i'll save i'll turn off the auto tone for the auto contrast to be in the uh, visible in the workspace now i will save it Now it's auto 
contrast save maximum 1.2 megabytes okay then let me turn that that off to save the uh, auto color effect image file save as jpeg extension file then auto color as I save this image you can see they compress the uh, uh, the, the layer in order to save it the, but the, the effect on the auto color let me save it see so they compress okay so let's see the difference this is the preview original image and this is the auto tone the auto contrast and the auto color i'm just hovering on the left arrow or clicking the left arrow to view it okay that's that's the tutorial hope this helps you and and don't forget to like and subscribe